Hello and welcome to Digit. In this video, we will be unboxing the Luxor telescope with a maximum magnification of 90x. On the front of the package, we can see an image of the product in use. On top, we can see the F36050 telescope model number. Underneath that, we can see some uh, writing that says optical glass and metal tube. That is probably the construction of the telescope. And on the right hand side, we have some images uh, that uh, the telescope can take. For example, the first image is that of a bird. The second one below the bird is an image of Saturn. And below that, we have an image of the moon with all of its craters. On the top of the package, it's pretty much the same, the same images. But this time we have an image of the telescope in its entirety along with the tripod. The back of the package is the same as the front. On the sides, we have some more imagery of the telescope in use. For example, this one says that it has a compact and sturdy tabletop tripod and we also have an image of the tripod itself. Here we have an image of the diagonal mirror that shows a right angle when set up correctly. Underneath that, we have the same images that we have already seen before. On the left hand side of the package, it's the same as the right. And the bottom is the same as the top. That's about it on the outside of the package. So let's get into it now. To start with, we get a user manual, which can get you started off with using the telescope correctly and effectively. Next up, we have this tripod on which the telescope can be set up. And we also have this knob, which helps in locking the telescope in place on the tripod. So let's see that in action right now. All we need to do is align the mounting point on the telescope and the mounting point on the tripod. You might need to use a bit of force as the mounting points are a bit tight and then just use the knob and screw it into place. And there we have it. The telescope has been mounted to the tripod and the tripod is obviously uh, can be the legs can be extended a bit. And uh, we and it can also be adjusted in quite a few ways. So while we are while we have the telescope with us, let's see what is on the telescope. The front of the telescope has a lens cap on it. To use it, you will obviously need to remove it. The hood of the telescope is made out of plastic and this little tube is made from metal. On the on one of the sides of the telescope, we can see some cautions stating do not look at the sun directly through the telescope as it might damage the eyes. We also have knobs on each side to adjust the focal length. Here we can see that when we adjust the knobs, the telescope extends or descends so you need to adjust that while you are trying to focus on a particular object. The eyepiece of the telescope also has a lens cap on it and that is white in color. We'll remove that. Next up, we have the various uh, attachments that can be used to increase or decrease the magnification of the telescope. We have four in total and two of them are in these tubular cases. There is also a moon protection eyepiece so that if you are looking at the moon through the telescope, uh, the reflection and the brightness of the moon will not damage the eyes and it will also make the moon seem more clear as it will not be as exposed. It has a green color glass inside it. Next up, we have a 6 mm lens module as well. And this can be used to uh, extend or descend, decrease the magnification depending on the use case. We have another tubular case 
in which we have a 20 mm lens module. We also have a right angle lens module that you can attach to the eyepiece of the lens of the telescope I mean. And this can be used to use the telescope while it is on the tripod so that you do not have to put it up against the eye and here you can look down into it and be able to see what the telescope is looking at. All of these attachments can be mounted on to this right angle piece as well. And lastly, we have the 1.5x lens module. This is by far the biggest lens module apart from the telescope itself, which is essentially a big lens. And uh, this too can be attached to the right angle module. Additionally, things can be attached to this one as well. So as we can see, the telescope is extremely modular and you can use all of these different lenses for different magnifications, depending on what you want to look at. So this was the unboxing of the Luxor telescope with a maximum magnification of 90x. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.